Shona, what are your sources uh, telling you about how the EU might be able to help Theresa May resolve this issue? Well, just as Vinny had said there, and what we'd heard for the weekend from Simon Coveney, the Deputy Prime Minister for Ireland, uh, there won't be any renegotiation of the withdrawal agreement, and the backstop issue has to remain there and intact. The integrity of it has to remain in place. But there has been some conversation today about maybe adding a codicil, which is essentially a legal document that might amend the treaty some way, where both sides could spell out exactly what they mean by the backstop. Because as both sides have said, it's only supposed to be temporary so if it's ever implemented it will only last a short period of time until a new future relationship a trade agreement will be put in place to make sure it was no longer relevant um, but both sides have varying uh, interpretations of what that means and the reason why it's such a problem in the House of Commons is that Brexit here is see it as keeping the UK within the EU's customs union and EU orbit what I've heard from sources is that the Irish government would be open to examining this but would not be budget if it were to change the integrity and the strength of the backstop in any way. Shona, what about an extension of Article 50? Is that on the cards at the moment? Well, that would be, of course, down to uh, the House of Commons, Theresa May, her government specifically. Um, certainly, we have heard uh, very openly, uh, just as far back as last week, Sebastian Kurz, the Chancellor of Austria, saying that he well, he spoke openly, I suppose, to the UK, essentially, by saying that the EU would be very much willing to agree to an extension of Article 50 in order to facilitate a second referendum or a general election or possibly to pass legislation that amended the future relationship. So essentially, if Theresa May and the government in, uh, um, decided they wanted to change their red lines in relation to the customs union, the single market, but they needed more time after Brexit to uh, write this legislation, to pass this legislation, then the EU would be open to that. But, it's, uh, but we've heard also from Theresa May in London that she's very much opposed to an extension of Article 50. However, from the Brussels perspective, it certainly is the path of least resistance for sure.